like that child my life was golden moving in these streets without being I like it real, real dirty and like it hard. Pause. <laughs> that was a crazy one. What am I, what am I doing? Moving in these streets without being noticed. Y'all already know my vibe, my people. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the video. Also check out my previous videos and also check out them links in the description. Add me on Instagram, follow my Spotify. I support back. Hit me up on my website, movingwithoutbeingnoticed.com. Sign up. With your email so you know when I'm giving away free merchandise. I got new music dropping. I got new shows coming up. Support the OG. The OG definitely support back, people, man. I got love for everybody, man. Trust me, man. No hate in his heart for nobody, B, but the people that stare at my coach in the wrong direction. Now, let's get into this Fulio shit, B. I usually don't like to comment on niggas when they, when they dying and they get murdered in the streets over nonsense and bullshit. They think this shit is a motherfucking GTA or fucking game that's on Xbox or PlayStation. Like, they gonna go to GameStop and buy them another motherfucking life and come back to the real world. But this shit is sad, man. I just want to talk about this Fulio situation. I really never listen to do music like that, man, because I don't pay attention to nonsense. This dude been disrespecting the dead for years, man. This dude had four attempts on his life, B. And they usually be three strikes and you out, man. They gave this nigga a fourth try and this nigga still ain't settled down, It's B. sad that people don't see the truth about drill music and choose to support it. Not knowing that drill music is actually a trap set up by the labels. See, the labels love drill music as it made them so much money. They don't care about how many teens end up locked up or dead because of it. They are making millions. What I wish the drill rappers knew was that the labels are using them and taking advantage of them. These record labels are popping up and signing these young rappers right out of the streets. The labels sign these young artists and even their rivals and then sit back and watch them destroy each other while they collect all the revenue from it. The label makes money whether they're alive or not, so they don't care what happens to their artists. Drill music is like a real life version of the Hunger Games as the label see who survives at the end. This has been the outcome for most of the drill rappers out. These kids can't see it's just a trap in which they pass away for the benefits of the record labels and the fans. Sadly, this is exactly what happened to Florida rapper Julio Fulio. For those who don't know, Julio Fulio was a Jacksonville, Florida rapper who became popular on the internet around 2020. He was most known for beefing with fellow Jacksonville rapper Young and Ace and many other rappers in the city. Julio was a drill rapper who loved to mock the dead in his songs. He made countless songs dissing the dead and was constantly online taunting those that opposed him. Julio became popular for his disrespectful songs. Many of you should know Young and Ace's popular song, Who I Smoke. The song was dissing Julio Fulio's friends who had passed away, so Julio dedicated his career to doing the same. These two rappers often dissed each other, and things will often escalate with the fans cheering on the whole thing. While Julio seems to have been growing a career in the music industry, it all came to a sudden end on June 23rd. According to what's being reported by the news, Julio Fulio passed away after he was ambushed at a hotel he was staying at in Tampa. Julio was in Tampa to sell- He still ain't find himself as an individual, man. Youngins, do not look up to these drill rappers. Do not look up to these streets, niggas, man. They wasting their motherfucking lives out here, man. They wasting their fucking one life they got to live, man. These niggas ain't coming back after they get murdered in the streets. Word, this shit crazy out here, my people, B. And I don't wish death or bad on nobody, B. Death, I don't wish nothing on nobody, B. Never that. But, yo, this shit is crazy out here, man. And you know who benefit from all of this shit, B? Them Zionists, the people that sign these people to these record labels and these record deals. Because once you die, your family ain't getting shit from you, for you. Rather, them record companies ain't giving your family shit. Them record companies gonna be stacking that money off of your dumb ass while you, while you down there six feet below covered in fucking dirt because you wanted to be a motherfucking thug. You wanted to be a motherfucking gangster. You wanted to be a street legend. Sometimes street legends don't last long, B. It's either dead or in jail, man. You gotta pick one when you wanna be a street legend, man. I was in the streets before. Ain't shit in the streets, man. Ain't shit in the streets, but dirty ass people that look just like you want to set you up. It's always us against us, man. Ain't the people tired of fucking fighting a war against the, each other? 
I know I'm tired of seeing it. I'm not even in this war because I ain't got no beef. And if I got beef, a nigga beefing with me because he hating how I move. You know what I mean? Because I move different. You know what I mean? I'm not a follower. I'm a motherfucking leader, B. I don't be out here following niggas and shit like that. I'm a motherfucking leader. And I'm a motherfucking person that care about people. You know what I mean? I want people to do the right thing. I want people to, to last long. I want people to live long. I want people to live good. You know what I mean? I want people to live good and all that shit, B. Fuck. Right. You know what I'm saying? I never hate on nobody, none of that shit, B. I'm going to congratulate you before I hate you. I'll congratulate you before I hate you. Real talk, B. Girl, I congratulate you before I hate you, man. I would never fucking wish bad on you, B. But these fucking drill rappers, B, how many rappers going to continue dying, man? Don't y'all niggas get tired of seeing fucking YouTube videos about rappers dying, trying to be gangster? I just don't know, man. And then from what I'm hearing, I heard the dumbass motherfuckers got caught across the street on camera from the hotel. Some dumb motherfuckers out here, B. Foolio. You's a fool, motherfucker. Rest in peace to your Foolio fool ass, B. But you dumb, you stupid, B. You brought death upon yourself, bro. The power of that tongue, no homo, no ditty. The power of that tongue is dangerous. When you out there in the streets and you out there committing these drills and you dissing the dead, going to fucking graveyards, making videos, that shit come back to haunt you in some type of way, man. Now niggas gonna be at his death site making videos, B. This shit crazy. A continued cycle, y'all see it? It's gonna be a repetitive, repetitive, repeat cycle, man. Killing, 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 drilling, 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 B. That's all the black people know is to kill each other, drink, smoke, and wear fashion and drive in foreign cars. We got our fucking community backwards, B. That's why the fucking kids is lost. Especially the little kids. The little kids, that's why they dancing and popping their pussy and singing singing a sexy red instead of fucking knowing they fucking ABCs and one, two, threes. Once again, bad fucking parenting, B. Bad parenting, yo. Bad fucking parenting, people. Word. Bad fucking parenting, yo. And I hate to say that shit, but it's fucking bad parenting, B. Word. It's bad fucking parenting, people, man. And this shit is sad. I don't know when this shit gonna stop, man. But we gotta fucking wake up, man. The future is already in trouble, man. The future is in trouble, which is the kids, man. Yo, kid. Not my kid, because I'm teaching my kids right from wrong. But your kids, y'all people out there that like to smoke, cuss, and drink, and, and, and put your kids into nonsense that I be seeing on social media singing these songs. Niggas be having guns around their kids, all type of shit, B. This shit is sad, B. Bad parenting, B. Kids having kids, man. That's why I'm, I'm glad I was raised by a good mama. You know what I mean? My mom, mama raised me from a baby, a man she made me, man. That's why I'm fucking doing good now, man. Girl. Word, that's why I'm doing good now. And I think by the grace of God, man, I'm doing good, man. I'm not bragging. I just got my ducks in order in the right time, B. I don't depend on nobody. I'm not out there doing nothing negative to survive, B. I'm doing all my shit righteous, man. That's why good luck and good energy always around me, B. No bad energy, because a lot of you niggas out there carrying that bad energy legacy for a, a long time, B. Or y'all keep. Y'all carrying that bad energy for a long time. Word, this shit is crazy out here, my people, man. But yeah, man, I'm gonna stay focused on the road, man. I, I'm gonna be talking, though, man. Because I don't want to get into no accident, you know what I mean? I ain't got my, my holders in the other car. Hopefully, I get my original car back soon, B. Word. Nigga hit my shit while my shit was parked, B. And that's another thing why I won't buy no foreign and none of that shit unless I got a garage to put my shit in. I'm not going to be parking my shit out on the streets, B. For a nigga to tap my shit and fuck up my shit, you know what I mean? Because these niggas out here hit your shit and keep it moving, B. Keep it fucking moving, word. And it's fucked up that people do shit like that, B. That's why I got to invest in a dash cam. I got to invest in a dash cam, B. So if a nigga hit me, they won't even know I got a dash cam, but they had, they, I'm getting their license plates, B. 
They gonna pay for this shit, B. But yeah, man, yo, Fulio, you a motherfucking fool, man. I just had to piggyback on that shit today. I wanna know who gonna be the next motherfucking nigga to die. Next rapper. And that's sad that we think like that. But the way these niggas is moving out here, that's what this shit's coming to, B. It's like you sitting here, you waiting, anticipating for another rapper to fucking die. Why? Why? Niggas should be trying to live it. Niggas got all the money in the world, opportunities, resources, be Nigga like me looking for the resources. I don't have all the money in the world, but I got money to do what I want to do when I want to do it. You feel me? I'm looking for these resources these niggas got, but I'm not trying to sell my soul for that shit. I ain't selling my soul for that shit, B. These niggas is mad, B. Y'all can have that record deal shit, that record label shit. Y'all can have all of that shit. I tell a nigga quick, slow money better than no money, but it's all my motherfucking money at the end of the day, B. Word. Fuck a record deal. Fuck all of y'all niggas shit, B. Word. Fuck all of that shit, B. Y'all can keep that shit. Y'all can have the record companies. Y'all can have all that street life shit. Ain't shit in the street but pain, poverty, and guns, B. And fuck the mental health people, man, that need help, man. That ain't getting the proper help, man. But yeah, man, I don't know. The record companies sitting back just caking up. After all you niggas die, they sign you niggas. You had to... The King Bond, the Young Dolphs, the FBG Ducks, the, the the Takeoffs, shit like that, shit like yo, this shit, the Tupacs, the Biggie. Look what Puffy did, man. Puffy wanted Biggie murdered so he could have his catalog, man. This shit is crazy out here. This shit is crazy. They just killed Whitney Houston for their catalog, for her catalog. They done killed Prince for his catalog. They done killed Michael Jackson for his catalog, man. The cycle continues, man. The urban community got it bad, B. That's why we ain't got shit in the hood now. We not raising no motherfucking politicians that could bring goodness to our neighborhood, to the urban community. We are raising fucking ghetto-ass children as brats. Spoil you, always on their fucking phone. I wish they do. I hope they ban cell phones. They already ban cell phones. I hope they do that shit worldwide. But that phone shit got a niggas and kids, man, fucked up, B. Kids be all in their phone. They don't be watching what they doing, watching where they going, none of that shit. They just be studying their phone. I could sit there and rob niggas all day because niggas is always in their phone. In their phone constantly, just going, walking down the street. That's why niggas shit be getting snatched. Niggas ain't paying attention to their surroundings. We in a new world out here, people, man. You got to pay attention. You got to keep your ears and your eyes open at all times, B. Unless you're in a fucking house some fucking way, man. Or somewhere around family And sometimes you gotta even keep your ears and your eyes open When you're around family gatherings And shit like that Cause anything is possible There's always an asshole out there man Shit is crazy man But people make sure y'all check out my previous videos man Like this video Subscribe to my channel Support your boy Check out my Instagram Follow my Spotify Sign up to my website All them links is right there in the motherfucking The, the description down there in my video my people You heard? We got to turn this fucking bad culture around, man. This cycle continues, man. And we got to turn it around if we want it, if we want better for our kids, the future. You know what I mean? We got to turn it around, man. And we want better. Because I know the politicians and the government and the record companies, all these people, they, they don't want better. They want us to ever, forever be in fucking poverty and pain, B. They don't want us to do better. They want us to suffer. They want us to be on welfare, looking for Section 8. They want us to be in all these programs so they could control us they ain't gonna control me man i'd rather get up and go work for my money man i don't want no handouts from nobody b but when you when you get shit from people b they own you they control you man and it's sad out here man moving in these streets without being noticed my people i even got the merchandise on the website y'all can go check me out if you want to move in these streets without being noticed stay low key stay off the radar but still have a lot of money and do what you want to do what you want to do Fuck with your boy, man Because I can do what I want to do When I want to do That's why I move in these streets Without being noticed I might not be rich But I got enough money To pay my bills And, and get on flights And do shit like that Buy clothes Do what I want to do What I want to do, basically That's my fucking slogan Make sure y'all check out The links in the description Add me on Instagram, all right? I definitely support back Nothing but loving It's hard for everybody In the culture I just don't like them niggas Steering my culture In the wrong direction all for that money. Diddy, Jay-Z, and all these niggas sold they soul. We thought nigga was throwing up the diamond, the Rockefeller. This nigga was throwing up the Illuminati sign the whole time. Had thousands fool, had people fool like a motherfucker, B. It's crazy out here, right? The world we live in, right? 
And I used to support whole buying his liquor, going to his concerts. I wish I could sue the shit out these bozo ass niggas, man. Bozos, B. These niggas was bozos, man. Bozos with money, man. Soul they sold. That's why that nigga left Dave Dash, because he knew Dave Dash when the soul is sold like that to them people. So he had to get away from Dave Dash for that. So that was the reason, Dane. He wanted to sell his soul. That was the reason, Dane. It wasn't nothing else. He wanted to sell his soul, Playboy. And he did it. And he controlling Beyonce. There's a lot of, yo, a lot of shit in the dark, man. All this shit coming to light, man. This shit is interesting, man. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, stay focused, and don't be another fucking foolio, a fool who entered the motherfucking graveyard at 26 years old, B. 26 years old, this nigga was in here. He in here at 26. I'm riding past the cemetery. This ain't his cemetery, but the nigga's in there. Rest in peace to the people that's in that cemetery, man. I'm up out of here. Legendary shit on some big and pop shit. Harlem world, baby, let's get it poppin'. Steppin' with the steppers, we the trending topic. Rollin' through and wide, but they call it Gotham. Top down, sunny day, cruising Harlem. One, two, five, I'm talking about the Apollo. History. One fifty-fifth, rock a punk a car show. I did suck and try to play me. Shit gon' get max B wave. All in world race, in the hood, ten toes down. One four nine, that's my stomping ground. Talking a five, we a nigga made a bag. Add it up, multiply, you chumps do the math. So fresh and so clean, I think I'm outcast when I go chop it fat. Throw it in the bag. You niggas ain't saying nothing. Nothing. Been getting cash money, bird man stuff. Turn nothing to something. White blue diamonds repping New York like a runt. Who want this? I don't think they want this. Who want this? I don't think they want this. Who want this? I don't think they want this. Who want this? I don't think they want this. 